Um, I brought another stencil example. This is a school glue stencil. So the letters I, I painted on with Elmer's. And then this is a uh, regular silk screen stencil made with block out. Um, but these, this school glue stencil will be totally, like it'll, it won't cramp, it'll resist the textile dye really well. And it doesn't really break down. I can wash it out with warm soapy water, um, but it holds up. Like I've printed this a bunch of times already, um, but I can still use it again today. Whereas these, I get one go. There's like a limited amount of times before it's just totally washed out of the screen. So, to show you how the school glue stencil is different. Because I, th yeah, I think the quality of it um, is a little different because it is so good at um, stop, like stopping the, uh, the print paste. I'm just going to take this off a little bit. Wash off the school paste when you want to do that. I um I spray it with soapy water mm -hmm. and then I let that sit for a little while, like 15 minutes or less maybe. Um and then I spray it with the hot water hose and it kind of just comes off and mm -hmm. peels off. where the fixative is in the dye. I can't keep dye backs around because they'll, they'll go off. Esther, do you ever reapply more of the ink onto the screen or do you sort of go by chance and just see when it runs out? Oh no, I can I can add more anytime. You will add, okay. Yeah. And I usually end up needing to do that. Mm -hmm. And so one of the things about the way that I make my print paste um, is that typically a textile artist would mix their dyes at least a few hours, if not like 24 hours in advance, so that all of the dye particles get a chance to be like attached to water and to be like completely uniform. But I sort of, 
I'm interested in like the places where the two where the colors separate. So like the scarlet and the fuchsia will like kind of move around somehow. Um, and so I like mixing my dyes and then using them right away. But if I was interested in a more uniform color, I would want to do it, be able to do it ahead of time. So these are sort of in between something that's addition and comma type because they really are all really different, but they use the same stuff. Do you remember your shirt? Mm -hmm. And when you paint with the glue, do you just do it in the bottle? Or yeah, or, or with a brush. Because it, this particular one, I did it just by squeezing it. And I, and I think you can see that kind of because like the, there's like that little tail. Yeah, yeah. Right? That's cool. Yeah. Another thing I can do that maybe this will show up this time is if I take my spatula and like push some ink or some print paste like right into the stencil, it'll show up in the way that it prints. So you get a denser area? Yeah. Even like bled under the school glue stencil a little bit. <laughs> 